I don't actually know if it's the morning for you at the moment, but it's the morning for me. So good morning all. I hope all is well. I hope you're feeling blessed and safe and high vibrational. Hopefully we stay in good spirits. I don't know what it is with people, but this last week, people have just been getting at me, whether it's customers, family members, my friends have been good. I don't really keep that many friends around me, so they've been okay. But I just feel, been feeling like people have just been getting at me. I don't know what it is. I don't know if there's some irritation in the air. But then again, I was channeling the other day. I actually expressed that I was feeling these heightened levels of anger and irritation over the last two, three weeks. And it's been manifesting and I can see it manifesting in other people. And often what I realise is that when I'm actually angry or when I'm annoyed or when I'm irritated, for some reason that energy reflects out into my physical experience and i don't know people just end up coming at me just either in irritated angry ways and just being a bit rude and disrespectful so i hope that's not your experience but you know but yeah i'm feeling good it's currently 7 53 a.m and yeah peace and love i hope all is well I hope you're feeling blessed and safe and high vibrational. We're going to get into this reading and we are going to do a love reading today. And we'll just be seeing whatever energy has to present for you, the viewer. Now this message is direct to you, the viewer. And I intend for this reading to be around about 10 minutes long and we will be using the Witch's Tarot. <laughs> Eight of Cups and Temperance. Okay. So these two cards, for me, there is a message of a person. Now, this does feel like you. It is giving more of a feminine energy, just with the energies of these two cards in particular. But with these two cards coming out, there's a message of needing to be told what to do next or needing to be given a sense of direction. There's a message of needing a sense of direction, needing a sense of guidance. But this is usually in the form of talking to the universe or talking to a higher power, wanting to be led by God or the all that there is. A sense of feeling a little bit lost. Now, there's also a message that we need to tr have trust trust in where we're being led have trust in the new experiences but also have trust in the path that we are walking you have to give something a go give certain things a go because you never know it might be successful but you're not going to know if you're going to be good at it or if it's going to be a success if you don't dip your toe in the water there's a need to dip your toe in the water and trust that in the dipping of the toe isn't going to be like your downfall. For some reason, I'm seeing the dipping of the toe as being a positive experience. And there's something, either an activity or something that you're going to do or that you do that helps you to release emotions, that helps you to be fluid in emotion. There is also a, here a person that is kind of fed up with actually dealing with their emotions if you look at their face they're somewhat fed up or tired of having to constantly go back and forward between these emotions or these people or perspectives or ways of being there's definitely a fed up kind of energy here you have the five of pentacles remember what i was saying that if you dip your toe in in the water if you give something a go if you attempt something then it might not actually be your downfall. It might be your your catalyst to rising. Now, with the Five of Pentacles coming out, it's a card that suggests that no matter how hard the journey is, no matter how sh much of a struggle the journey is, or the process is, or the thing is, that no matter what, even when the weather, even when the surroundings, even when the, f the ground and the soil doesn't look accommodating to be able to grow fruits or vegetables or pentacles that the pentacles still grow there's something about 
the soil being nourishing and it's so in what energy saying they're giving two messages one is of finding your foundations but also the other one is grounding to be grounded and to try and center the self is coming up two of cups this refers to a light union a light slash spiritual connection between two people right now in this moment i just heard this union is between the divine and self a sense of coming into connection with the divine with god with a higher power and something about anointing anointment is being brought up justice now with this i was receiving a message this card before of balanced communication but that card usually comes out with the hierophant now with this coming out with the justice card it's giving a energy of balanced communication equally weighted arguments or equally weighted points to the conversation is being brought up now there's a woman again that's there's this energy of this female energy or this feminine energy being fed up being fed up of having to deal with these people or deal with these emotions or deal with these perspectives look at both of their faces so stern so strong now these women they're not necessarily to be played with they may they may look feminine and soft and beautiful but they are very strong in their emotional intelligence they're very strong in their feminine and divine feminine energy ace of wands there's a transformation about to occur and there's an opportunity for freedom now you're being called and it's very important that at this time you assess who you are as a person assess your personality or assess your energy expansion because there's a need to pull these reins in and these reins represent aspects of you that can somewhat or tend to be overbearing for others or people in your surroundings so there's a need to pull those pull these things these parts of self in close to yourself make your auric feel tighter so that you can kind of um and it's like the more you pull your auric feel tighter into yourself like your energy is heightened if that makes sense like there's more energy that you are using rather than when your auric field is so open and wide that people can take from your energy if that makes sense and use it for themselves making you become drained but there's definitely a transformation happening right here a lot of freedom about to enter somebody's life and i think this is going to be in you actually just taking the next step and dipping your toe in the water but guys i have to get going now i have to start my day bye thank you for being present with me peace and love Ashe.